Happy Saturday. We're rushing because we are five minutes late from going to see Mad Max. We we're supposed to go to water parks. Somehow we're going to the movies and now we're late. So let's go check it out. <laughs> That is not the way I remember Mad Max looking. <laughs> ah, here's the real poster. I like that movie a lot, but let's see. We have a good opportunity for our favorite segment. <laughs> the Mary Scale. What did you think? Uh, I'll give it three and a half. What? Yeah. I, on a, on a rare occasion here, I'm gonna have to, holy cow, wait a second. I gotta show you this across the way. We're at a movie theater that has a farm next to it, the cows are out and they're actually beyond the fence and walking to where the cars are. Do you see where the cows are? One is coming into the parking lot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, guess what, it's not all metropolitan area in uh, Orlando, but anyhow. Mad Max. I thought it was a phenomenal movie. I loved the first two movies in uh, the series when I was a kid. Um, I wasn't that big of a fan of Beyond Thunderdome, but um, this movie I thought was an excellent throwback to the movies that I grew up with. I loved it. Didn't have a lot of plot. The one thing that I thought was really funny about the movie that still doesn't make sense is that when I was a kid, those were the cars that we grew up with, um, you know, kind of like 1970s, 1980s, and then some rat rods out there, really gas guzzlers. And the purpose is you're kind of looking for gas across the plains to keep your things going. At this day and age, since it's, you know, a good 30 years later, I kind of wonder, like, you know, there's been such an advent of cars, like electric cars, that we're still uh, in a movie that's set looking for gas, for gas guzzlers, and the cars are driving all over the place looking for gas and expending gas when they're driving to look for the same thing that they're using so wastefully in giant gas guzzlers. So that's one knock. And I would say that's kind of what takes away, I think, at the end. But I give the movie four and a half out of five. Wow. I think the action was phenomenal. Oh, I think yeah. it was a throwback to the 80s. There's not enough, you know, if you get caught up saying like, hey, this plot doesn't make sense, I don't really care. Um, it, the cinematography was unbelievable, oh, yeah. the um, scenery was unbelievable, the action is non-stop from beginning to end. I can't think of an action movie that's better than this that I've seen in like the last five years. I loved this movie. I can't wait for it to come out on Blu-ray so that I can watch it again at home. <laughs> and at some point next week we'll go to see this. It's not on June 12th. We've got a busy weekend next week, so I'm hoping that maybe we can see this on Thursday if it opens up early. So to give you an idea how much I like that movie, it's like a half an hour later, I'm still giddy laughing about like all of the different action scenes. The guy, there's a guy with the guitar that, I mean, oh man, I can't wait to see it again. I had to buy it on 3D Blu-ray so I could watch it in my living room with the sound all the way up. I'm gonna go check out Bed Bath & Beyond. So we saw these little shot glass Tervis things when we were at the Tervis store in Orlando, or by I Drive rather, um, with the bucks and stuff. We thought it was shot glasses, they're 10 bucks a piece, but it turns out they're actually espresso cups. So, dumb on us. Quite possibly the greatest pillow I've ever tried. Oh yes, you will be mine one day. Party in the tub, yo! We wrapped at the pet store. This is our awesome chore day. Yay! Again, we were gonna go to the water park, but we just couldn't get going today. And it's supposed to rain, but eh. We just saw this awesome, awesome puppy, Doberman. Eight months old. I love it. I think Mary likes dogs, too. I love dogs. She doesn't trust me to take care of it, though. And it's probably right. I've said that a million times, but I would love to get a really big dog like that. I love roughhousing with animals, and that dog was awesome. I grew up around big dogs. My grandmother had a Doberman and a German Shepherd. I love that my, one of my best friends has a little pit bull mix. I love playing with that dog too. And you know, I'm, I'm not afraid of getting bit. I did get bit when I was a little kid. I have a scar here that folks can't see because of the beard, but um, really bad, <laughs> really, really bad. Um, and I'm still not afraid, but maybe one day.
Maybe. Maybe. We almost got another cat just now, so <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> We're going to go to Dollar Tree for a minute and see what kind of bargains we can find. And possibly knock off toys? I don't know. One dollar flip-flops, yo. Ooh. Pink flamingo. Ooh. They've got you covered if you're looking for glow axes or glow pitchforks. They have a full stock here. You could dress up like Tim twice with this package. Two out of seven. That's not bad odds. Or you could really just flip this around like this. And then you have a much bigger Tim. Now we did not adjust these at all. Look at the way that this dinosaur playset, play set, is lined up. <laughs> Can you guys see that? I don't know. That is, that's worth a dollar. <laughs> really, who wouldn't want to smell like macho? I love that this store decided that they didn't want to use the sale thing, so instead of two for one, they cross it out and write one for one. It's not 89 cents. We've increased our prices to one dollar. So fast forward, three hours later, I've got Mary, we've got a happy Jesse back there texting and walking, and we're going here to see Roller Derby. Yeah. So this is where we are tonight, Volusia County Fairgrounds, Deland, Florida, Thunder City Women's Roller Derby. Let's check it out. So we are not sitting in the front row, which is suicide seating, where the girls can crash into you. Instead, we are in... Here, we are sitting in the general stand. Jesse's too cool to sit on the same row with us. She's above us.
That was a lot of fun. Now we're gonna head home, check out some of the lightning game. Look at that sunset. Oh! That's pretty cool. Mary had a lot of fun. Oh, I did, I did. She was cheering everybody. Oh, it was so much fun, it was so cool. <laughs> well, it is super late. I got caught up playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up in a couple of hours and head to Universal Studios. So we're gonna have a fun Sunday. On that note, Thank you for all of your likes, thank you for your comments, thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.